Okay. Here we go. Once again, I have some stuff to do in the background, but you know. the cute Pikachu intro while I finish what I need to do to actually be ready to stream because actually being ready to stream when you hit the stream button so overrated honestly couldn't be me um, <laughs> one day like one day I'll actually be ready Okay, let's play some video games. <sighs> okay, so I decided I was abusing the speed up button too much. So I no longer have it. I unmapped it. Can't do it anymore. So I can no longer abuse it. So, there's that. Um... Just not allowed anymore. Okay, so I can't get Abra here, so this will be an easier catch. Uh, on here, in my opinion. Easier might be relative. But, regardless. Uh, we are here to catch uh, all the oddishes we need, all the bell sprouts we need, and all the venonats we need. Now, I believe that we only need two venonats. Yeah, there's just two. We need two venonats, three bell sprout, and three oddishes. And then there will be the usual army of Pidgeys that Yellow just has everywhere because you have a Pikachu as your main Pokemon, and they wanted to give you the opportunity to abuse that fact. Repeatedly, and often. Um, and then we will go beat all the trainers on our way to see Bill once we've gotten the Pokemon we need. Um, let me also check... Make sure that, yeah. Uh, Route 24 and Route 25 in this game have pretty much the same appearance rates of those Pokemon. Wanted to make sure it wasn't something like Venonat would be way easier to catch on Route 25. But no, they're, they're about the same. Um, so we're going to switch train Prince up a few levels and then let Prince just eat these grass Pokemon. Uh, while we try... Oh, not having the speed up button hurts. But I was abusing it too much. I I abused the power so I can no longer let myself have it. It's very sad. Anyway, Prince shows up, says hello, and then switches out with uh Poggy Jew. Who thankfully did not actually get a sand attack off. That would have been very annoying. It just led with sand attack. Anyway, uh, so after this point is where my memories of Gen 1 become really fuzzy. Because while I absolutely, like 100% have beaten the game, I've only played past this point like twice or something. So like I know like the general thing and where everything is, but like the order of things what's possible to do when stuff like that is a little uh a little sketchy in my in my mind i do not know oh it was burned get in the pokeball before you die to burn please
Hitting the Pokeball. And caught. Yeah, there we go. Bellsprout was caught. That's one of the three Bellsprout we need. Uh, okay, what do we want to name our Bellsprouts? I would like to give a nickname to Bellsprout, yes. Um... Let's see... I made a joke about it being a Venus flytrap, and I made a joke about Bell being in it. Oh, uh, what are the names? So oh, it's. It's. I know it's Victory Bell and Bell's Route. What's the middle one called? Weepin' Bell? Okay, I. It's. Kind of lame, but uh, Sprout Weeps for Victory is what I'm going with, because I can't think of anything better, and, you know, we're on the clock. Gotta keep going. So, you know, we do what we uh, can. Oh gosh, not being able to speed up is pain, but I, I will be strong. They really make it so easy for you to be overleveled in Pokemon Yellow. Pidgeys are everywhere, which you start with a Pokemon that's good against Pidgeys. And they're also weirdly overleveled. <laughs> like, I'm gonna put this in perspective. Uh, the highest level Pokemon that can appear here in red and blue is level 14. That's the Oddishes. They're the highest level Pokemon here. The addition of Pidgeys that can appear at up to level 17, and the, and the chance of a level 17 Pidgeotto appearing, is like, that's a huge boost. And the Venonats are level 16, or th level 13 to 16. Like, across the board, Poke uh, enemy Pokemon levels are just higher, which makes it way easier to grind. Which, like, isn't necessarily a bad thing. I just think it's funny. I think overall, it's probably a good thing. I'm not really a fan of, you know, if the trainer levels are much higher than the Pokemon levels in the area, because then it's super annoying. Having to try and grind that up. It got out of the red zone with that, which is gonna be very unfortunate if it manages to not get caught here, but it's okay, because it got caught. Uh, I do want to give a nickname to Oddish. What am I gonna do with that? Do not... no. How did the other... It's so weird, the Pokemon divisions between, uh, like, the Japanese Pokemon Blue, its Pokemon is closer to red than the International Blue or Pokemon Green, and that's so weird. Anyway, the, the weirdness of the way Gen 1's Pokemon breakdowns work across the four games is aside. Uh... Oddish, Oddish. What should I name Oddish? We have Oddish, Bloom, and Vile Plume. Um. I mean, Doom and Gloom is the easy rhyme joke, so we're gonna take that one. You know? Because we are lazy, like that. So we will just take that. Uh... One should be Gloom. So I suppose it doesn't matter which one is first Gloom or Doom, but... 
we'll keep our naming convention the same of starting with the end. Just for convenience. Okay. Yeah, we just need to catch eight Pokemon here, which is not too bad. There's the other Oddish we need to catch. Ooh, this one's level 14. Good for it. I'm happy for it, really. It doesn't really matter to me, because... I'm gonna use a Bulbasaur for my grass type, so like Oddish sure is here, uh, is what I'm saying. Um Oh boy, you crit my Charmander with Absorb. Anyway. Oh no! Anyway. We catch another Pokemon. Illa's got so many Pokeballs. Great. So nice to just have a mountain of them. Do I want to give a nickname to Oddish? Uh, yes. This one is... And... Okay, uh... We get to catch our the third Oddish, so you know, that's nice. Oddish got immediately burned, which is good for us, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. All, all it's really going to do is offset the health it's getting back from Absorb. Now that we have all the Oddishes, that means that Oddishes, which are the most common Pokémon here, uh, are now just leveling fodder, which is nice. And that's the last Oddish we need. Uh, and then this one was Doom. Yep. We do not need a speed up button. Haha. <laughs> okay, another Oddish. Oh, thanks for the raid. I appreciate you. Uh, Antitonic? How's it going? Hope whatever uh, you were doing before this went well. What I'm doing right now is uh, getting every single Pokemon in the box. It's not enough to have caught every single Pokemon. It's not enough to have once had every single Pokemon. I must have every single one in the in the box system in this game. That's the goal. Um. So, we'll, uh, see how long that takes me. Something's gonna take quite a while. But, it may s mainly just means that we have to catch, uh, a bunch of each Pokemon. Because, like, for Venonat, we need two Venonat. One, one that will stay a Venonat, and one that will become, uh, whatever Venonat's evolution is called, Venomoth. Um... And, uh, so that, that's what I'm doing. Other than that, I'm just chilling out. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm just chilling out while I, uh, catch a metric ton of Pokemon. 
It is not a fast uh, run that I'm doing. That's for sure. Uh, let's see, what should I call my Venonets? I always try to uh, make the names something that uh, is uh, kind of funny or entertaining. Um, and I try and make it like a, a sentence. The, the names are paired, you know? Like for, uh, for uh, Oddish, I just did Doom and Gloom because the middle one is called Gloom. Um, so each Oddish that I had to catch was a different word. Uh, I don't have one for Venonat yet. Let's see. The hard part is that I'm doing this across red, blue, and yellow, and I want to do it in each of them. Which means I have to think of three sets of nicknames for each Pokemon. Which is... Harder than you would expect. Uh, let's see. They don't have a good one for... Venonat. Uh... Actually, I, okay, I have a really dumb one for Venonat. Uh, which is... Uh... Nah, right, that won't fit. Um, I'm thinking, like, Natural and Maybelline. Because of the Nat and Venonat. But, you know. Uh... Because that commercial has lived- that com that slogan has lived rent-free in my head. I don't know if I'm spelling that right, actually. I should make sure that I'm spelling that right, because, like, that would be embarrassing. I am not spelling that right. Sadly, Venno Natalie will not fit. It, it is double L. It's also- it also has a Y in it. Um, which means that it won't fit. Uh, cause that's too many characters. Um, okay, let's see, what should I do? Um, uh, uh, another silly joke about, uh, the gnat is... This won't fit either, will it? Yeah, documentary is too long of a word. Um, it's really funny because I know how many characters I have to work with, but I still have to, like, think about whether a word will fit or not, or see it written out. Um... Ah, uh, yeah, shortening it for Mabel would, would work. I'll add the Y just so that way, uh... There. I'll add the Y just so that way, you know, it might be a little more obvious to people what it is. Okay, got the other rare spawn, so that's pretty nice. I didn't mean to switch to... Pikachu, but it's fine. Uh, I, I should not hit it with Pikachu. It will not survive. <laughs> it will die. Pikachu is nine levels up on it. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting every Pokemon. Uh, I'm getting every catchable Pokemon, yeah. Which I don't think I ever did in Gen 1. Like, I know I beat the game, but I didn't have anyone to trade with, so I don't think I ever bothered actually getting all the legendaries. So... What Gen 1 Pokémon are even... What are the Gen 1 legendaries? Uh, the birds... Uh... Uh, 
then Mewtwo, then yeah, Mew's not on, not in it. So sad. Um, but yeah, I, I never went for the legendaries. I don't think when I was uh, a kid, and I've certainly never completed Gen One again to that point. You know, every time I've tried to replay it, I usually got bored around, uh, um, usually got bored around, like, um, yeah, I know, I know that Mew's in the Pokédex, but I didn't know if it was catchable or not. Is there a way to... Oh, okay, rude. Get in the Pokeball. I don't want to be spending more money on these. So get in the Pokeball. Don't make me pull out my Butterfree to put you to sleep. That's what I thought. go back to... I think the only thing I need here now is the Bellsprout line. I have one of them. I need two more. I have all the Oddishes. I think it's... Uh, my experience with Pokemon I've always found kind of funny because I've never really like been the kind of person to like look stuff up online about Pokemon. So like, I've played a lot of Pokemon games but I know very little about some, a lot of them. <laughs> because, uh... Gen 1's the only gen that I've ever finished, and I finished it when I was, like, a child. Uh... Every other gen, I would start and play a bit of, and then would just kind of stop. Because I'd get bored. Um... Which isn't just a Pokemon thing. One of the reasons I started streaming was so I would actually finish games. Because I'll have the idea of doing something outlandish, like putting- getting every Pokemon in the box, and then, like, halfway into the challenge, stop. Which I still do with streaming sometimes, but I'm better about it. And at least it enters a list for me to finish the challenge instead of me just being like, yep, that game exists and is on my pile of games. On a related note, I will probably do this challenge for other gens after I finish this one. Um, just because I have them, they're an option. Um... And it would be nice to, uh, actually play them. Oh, hey, Venonat. H how are you? Hopefully by the time I have caught all the victory bells I need, uh... That's not what I meant to use, but it's fine. Um... Hopefully by the time I've caught all the Pokemon, uh, I need here, um, my Charmander is leveled up enough to be more useful. Okay, I guess I should Thundershock it. Okay, you know what? No, we're not, we're not about to get hit for being confused. Like, that's just, that's on the list of things that we're not doing today. So, Fiji, get out here and just finish it off, please. Thank you. Means we split the split the XP three ways, but like it's fine. Oh boy, a Pidgey, and it's level seventeen. The Pokemon Yellow Pidgeys crack me up. I didn't realize as a kid. So Pokemon Yellow is the one I finished, and I did not realize as a kid how much they did to help you over level your Pikachu. 
my Pikachu was absolutely overleveled for the whole game, and I just didn't even catch that they that they built that right in with all of these weirdly high-level Pidgeys at the beginning of the game. Which I think is just hilarious. Um, another level 16 Venonat. Do I even have anything that's actually good at dealing with Venonat? It's okay, I'm sure Pidgey will learn a flying type move eventually. And why do I have Pidgey and not Spearow in my party again? Because I liked Pidgey more as a kid, but like... In actual Gen 1, uh, Spearow's just the better Pokemon. <laughs> Particularly at the beginning. Okay, you know what? No, again, we're just not- we're not doing that. You know what? You like you like confusing. Oh, okay, that's that's just rude. Could you not? Do not spam that. Um, like, don't be rude. We're really spreading. Okay, it's, okay, good. Like, stop. Who could a slam in this gen? And that was a crit, so it's a little hard to tell how good it actually was. But it didn't seem terrible, at least. I should go heal, probably. We shall do that. We shall go heal. God, I hate the palette for Cerulean. Can't wait until I have the victory- the bell sprouts I need so I can just get out of here. I, I want I want to not have to be here anymore. <laughs> I I want to I want to go home. Home in this case being journeying onward, but that's beside the point. I just don't want to be in Cerulean anymore. This palette hurts me. Most of the palette swaps in this game don't like, hurt my eyes, but there's a reason I immediately figured out how to turn Blue's palette swap off. <laughs> like, there's a reason I immediately was like, but how do I make that not happen? Because this hurts. <laughs> oh, hey, a bell sprout. Also, I'm just gonna casually look up, uh... Interesting. Interesting. And yes, impulse stream always. When is it ever not? I'm just looking up the glitches for apparently catching a Mew. It sounds like a playground rumor, but I'll try it. Um, I'll have to try it in red because I can't try it in uh, 
this one, but... Um, because I've already fought one of the trainers that, uh... Um... Interesting. Anyway, I'll look more at the Muse stuff later. I'll do it on a different file if I decide to do it. Anyway, Ember the Spell Sprout because I want to catch it. I get smacked. Smacked. I'm gonna smack it back. Okay, uh, this is Weeps 4, what I'm gonna call this one. I do want to give a nickname to Bellsprout. Weeps... Apparently, this trainer is buggy and can let you catch Mew, but I don't know if that's true. Um, but I'll try it on a different file. Uh, I'm, I probably won't stream my attempt of it, because it's going to be a lot of me getting a file back to here, which is a lot. Um... And I'm absolutely just going to abuse the speed up button and not catch any Pokemon on that file that I don't need to. You know, like, catch a single uh, Caterpie to turn into a Butterfree. Stuff like that. There we go. We now have Sprout. I do want to give a nickname to Bell Sprout. Try was transferred to someone's PC. Good for them. Okay, that's all the Pokemon I need, but I would still like to have uh, Prince be a higher level, but I think that I will... Uh, I just... I think it's funny that my yellow file actually has overall my lowest level Pokemon. <laughs> And that's funny because the game does so much to try and make you make it easy for you to overlevel your Pikachu, and it's still my my overall lowest level file. Um. God, this place still hurts my eyes. But it's fine. We just have to go to the Poke Center. did it. Goodbye. I don't want to be here anymore. Okay. Let's continue on our merry way. Gen 1 music will, and just Pokemon music in general, will always live in my head rent free. Okay, you're not a trainer. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're the one who gave me Charmander. Anyway, uh, now we get to fight our way through all of these trainers. Just got down from Mount Moon, but I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, SpongeBob. 
Uh, okay, so that's a Machop. That's good against... Let me remind myself of the type chart. We have a fighting enemy. So flying and psychic are good against it, but bug is weak against it. Which means while well, Freeman... That makes Freeman neutral, because... Is Butterfree bug flying or bug psychic? Either way, it's neutral, right? Yeah. Then I can just use confusion and we move on with our lives. Goodbye, Machop. Anchor is about to use Geodude. Will I change Pokemon? Yes. Because I need Prince to continue getting, uh... Okay, there we go. Okay, um, let's switch with Punchy, who will laugh at this Geodude's defense curls by hitting it with low kick. Not having the level advantage means that I can't just, like, mock it with low kick, but, uh, Karate Chop be normal in this gen and it hurts me. Um, side note, uh. Yeah, Prince got up to level 13. Oh boy, we defeated Hiker. Thanks. Local trainers come here to practice. I'm good for them. I don't care. But I'm happy for them, really. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh. We probably can't win that. I don't really want to send out. Hoggy Chew, though. Because, well, Poggy Chew would definitely win. I, I need other people to be getting XP. Is the level advantage enough for Air to win this? Probably. If it's gonna Tail Whip, because I don't think it... It won't kill me off of this Tail Whip, and that's what matters. Like, that's what really matters, is that that Tail Whip's not going to lead to my death. I had to use Spiro. I will change Pokemon. Uh, what is good against flying other than uh, electric? Do I have anything else good against it? No, because I don't have any rock or ice. Okay. Well, Pogichu come in and one shot this Spiro, I guess. Yeah, as expected. Goodbye. I win again. First, let's fight. Okay, buddy. Oh boy, an onyx. Switch Punchy in. We're at a level disadvantage, but I think the type advantage will will be fine. That's rude, but uh, hopefully you won't live to uh, abuse it. Oh, you certainly will. Okay. Um. Okay, you can stop setting up on me, buddy. Like, I know you. Okay, rude. And do your attack just continues, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, get my Pokemon out of that. And, uh, take you out with some... Uh, not physical attacks. Take you out with some special attacks. Okay, rude. Do not. Switch back to Punchy.
That's right. I win. That was scuffed, but we win, and that's what matters. And Prince leveled up, so you know, good for Prince. I am something. Not sure it's something good, but I am something. That's that's true. Uh, we need to go heal again. Uh. Okay. Yep, heal him up. Here you go. I really want to do this challenge for like every gen. Or at least every gen that I can emulate. And the reason why is because there are some really obnoxious, like, legendaries and single choices in these games that without the ability to, uh, to save state and just do it multiple times would be, like, getting as many of that Pokemon as I need is gonna be, like, 30 hours or something, or more. Uh, to trade with myself and actually have all the copies of it that I need. Whereas with an emulator, that is super easy to do. Um, both because of the magnificent speed-up button uh, that I can use when doing that. Oh, my controller just came unplugged, huh? Is it functioning? It is not. Cool. I bumped the, uh, the cord plugging it in. Which, uh, it did not like, unsurprisingly. Uh, what type of slowpoke in this game? Water... I have to actually look that up, I I do not know. You look at the trainer list, find Slowpoke. Water Psychic, okay. I didn't know if it was actually dual typed in this game. Um, so being Water Psychic, it is... Uh, let me consult my chart. Speak against Electric? And... Find Psychic. Speak against electric and bug. Cool. Cool. Psychic is such a weird type. Uh, because it only has one weakness, and that's always awkward. Okay, um... I guess that means I'm pull just gonna pull out Poggychu, you know? Poggychu, I choose you. Don't get- don't get the confused. Don't get the confused. Okay, good. And because, uh, Special Defense and Special Offense are in one stat in this game, uh, Pogichu's actually got pretty good Special Defense. Like, Pikachu as a Special Attacker, or as a Balanced Attacker, has pretty good Special Defense in this game just because of that, which I think is funny. I'm not mad. Sure, buddy. Sure. I'm happy for you that you had a good time on the SSN. My boyfriend is cool. I, I'm again. I'm glad for you. But why are you telling me? Like, why do you think I need to know this information? That's what I want to know. Like, why was it imperative that I was informed of this information? Okay, could you not? Rude. Anyway, I'll just remove you from existence. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Hey, that was super effective. Is Nidoran a poison type? And would that be super effective? I didn't know Nidoran uh, was a poison type in this gen.
Well, they must be. Yeah, Nidoran's poison, not normal. Okay. Uh. I things. Um, I I just pulled uh that out because I was like, I don't think as a as a thing that learns normal poison moves, I don't think its specials like to be very high in this gen. Um, <laughs> that's why I pulled uh Butterfree out. But uh, glad I made the right choice. Oh no. We took two damage. Anyway. Didn't crit, so didn't just one-shot it, but you know. We're, we're doing good. There we go. We now have three starters, level 15 or above. Feels pretty good. Hey man, a slump. Good for you, I don't care. Hey, hey buddy, fight me. I have to see a Pokemon collector at the cave. G good for you. Again, why are you telling me? <laughs> why do you think I need to know? Why do you think I care? Like, I'm happy for you, really. I just don't care. Anyway, uh, let's see. Punchy's lower level, so we'll take out this Geodude with Punchy. Get low kicked. Get low kicked again. Uh huh. Punchy doesn't level up yet? Weird. Um. Actually, you know what? Prince is level 15. We don't need to be. Like going all that hard on Switch training him. You know, but Punchy can just have the XP for this. <laughs> like, it's okay. Like, that, that's fine. Good for you, Punchy. I'm happy for you. Uh... A chop... is countered by Freeman. Confusion still hurts the eyes, but I no longer have a speed up button, so we just have to deal with it now. Oh boy, we leveled up. Got to use Geodude. I will change Pokemon, because Punchy needs more XP. Just while I could just take him out with Freeman. Bungie is lower level. Uh, the real question is, what types do I not cover with my current team? Because I know I'm missing some. The part of that's that, you know, at the level that I'm at, I don't have the, the move coverage that I'll have later. Get this guy's attention to get him to move out of that corner. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Okay, buddy. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you, and I'm happy for you that she's not here to see what I'm about to do to you. Cause you might, your ego might be a little bruised after this one, buddy. Just a little forewarning. Uh. Oh. Okay. Rude? It's rather rude to just crit someone like that. Can't believe you would do this. Yeah, yeah, you, you try to lower my, uh, my defense. How's that working out for you, buddy? How'd that plan go? Uh, yeah, I'll change Pokemon. Um, we'll let Freeman handle Ekans. Freeman's healthy enough to handle it pretty easily. 
I don't think Ekans has a lot of special in this gen. Or in any gen, come to think of it. Like, comparatively. Rude. Um, okay, let's switch out to Ivy and let Ivy finish it. The enemy's weak! Get him, Ivy! Oh, come on, stop. These are the most annoying attacks because you just have to wait. It's like, I just want to play the game. I'd honestly rather an enemy Oko me than, like, than have to wait for, uh, for all that. In most situations, I think I probably still prefer rap and rap or things like that if I'm doing a Nuzlocke, but like, for just normally playing the game, just end me. I would prefer it. Youngster wants to fight. Oh, another Ekans. Well, Prince is not going to fight it. Um, let's send out the electric mouse. I'm sure that'll go well. And in this case, it, it will actually. But I stand by the idea that, that, that this going well doesn't make sense. Although, maybe the electric part of it makes it make sense, actually. Uh, yes, I will change. I don't feel like fighting a sand true. But sand true is ground type. Game. I don't know why I keep specifying this game when I don't think that one's changed. I think Sandshrew's just ground type. I think that's I think that one's just true. Um let me find ground in my handy dandy list here. It is weak to grass. Maybe maybe we let uh maybe handle it. Let's get Leech Seed off because it's about to start. Anyway, as I was saying, let's get Leech Seed off. Because it's about to start, yep, using Sand Attack. And at least it can't prevent Leech Seed from uh, hurting it, and then we're gonna Growl. To make it harder for it to hurt me. Because that's effectively what it's doing uh, to me. We're just, we're just gonna heal. Oh, it failed, that's rude. Anyway, and now we just attempt to use Vine Whip. We may or may not ever succeed, but Leech Seed will win eventually, because it's going to keep trying to lower our accuracy. Ah, the crits are scary. Okay, I landed a Vine Whip. And that's all I needed. There was a non-zero chance it crit there and took out IP and then died the leech seed. <laughs> Which would have been really funny. Like, there was absolutely a good chance of that happening. Anyway. Hello. Let's fight. My friend has a cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Well, just go catch one. Five head. Like... Simply go catch that Pokemon that you're jealous about. It's that easy. Um, I'll switch Aaron. I should be able to handle this one. Yeah, it sure is not very effective. Now we just quick attack it to death. It'll take a couple of turns, but... But we shall win. Like, we've got this one on lock. It's just gonna take a minute. <laughs> like, we will not lose. It will just take time. Do 
Last is about to use Pidgey. I will change Pokemon, yes. Oh, what a coincidence. You sent out a flying type and I sent out a Pikachu. Thunder Shock. The outcome of this fight was shocking. It's a re that was, you know, very shocking. I don't know how anyone could have seen that coming. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna let Pikachu quick attack it to death. I think it's fine. Pikachu's nine levels up. I really expected that to do more, I'll be honest. You know what? Get slammed. And we crit. Easy game, easy life. Anyway, uh, now let's go help Bill. I, I love that the Pikachu goes and interacts with Bill. That's so cute. Pikachu's just confused. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. <laughs> I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Until we're going to my PC and run the cell separation system. Our initiated teleporter cell separator. She's so cute. Yeehaw. Thanks, bud. I owe you one. Passengers are all trainers, huh? Anyway, yeah, he wants us to go to the party instead of him. Anyway. No, I didn't mean that. Re the, the. Realized that I accidentally talked to him again. Anyway. Pikachu's still confused. Also. What happened to the Pokemon you were combined with, buddy? I separated your cells out, and now you're fine. Where did the- where did the Pokémon go? I think- I think I... There, look, there's a non-zero chance a Pokémon just passed away, is all I'm saying, like... Now, maybe he just converted the Pokémon into data, and... That's all that happened there. Maybe. Like, it could be. That that could be the case. Do, do, do. Anyway. Let's go heal at the Poke Center. And then we have to do that in... Red, I believe? I just realized it. Please tell me that I... Properly updated this before I stopped streaming last time. Yeah, it did. Yeah, cool. Blue is, my blue list is properly updated. Good. Anyway, let's go manage our box. As usual. Okay, uh... Uh, first of all, change box. Do box 12. Pause it. 
and we're going to deposit Prince Air Freeman Bunchy and Ivy. Get them all out of my party for right now. And <sighs> Okay. Uh then what did I want? I wanted box ten. Now withdrawn. Okay, so the uh So Venonat and Venomoth along with Oddish Plume Vile Plume all go in. What are these? Did I already catch some Pokemon on this route and just forgot? Okay, that that's the Paris. And stay there. I do think it's funny, it's still paralyzed. Um Anyway, uh, don't know what that was. It's not a Pokemon we have anymore. Anyway, uh... Okay, so Doom... Uh... Natural... Mabel... And... Gloom all go in uh, the same uh, box. They all go in box three. That's also how many Pokemon I can hold. So I will go deposit them. I'll also mark on my spreadsheet that I have a Venonat. I have something that will evolve into a Venomoth have an Oddish, have something that will evolve into the Glen. Uh, okay. Pause it, pause it, Doom. Bloom. Deposit Natural. Deposit Mabel. Okay. Now we change box. And then we grab out the uh, Bell Sprouts. Sprout. Weeps for. Victory. Now we deposit. Uh, first, change box. Order matters. Change to box four. Then we deposit. Sprout. Weeps for. Victory. Now we change box to box 12, pick up our team. And we withdraw all the Pokemon here. Then we just have to switch the box to 10, and then we're back to being able to uh, play the game. Okay, uh, and we just gotta change the box one last time, 
up to box 10. Cool. Save. Like, technically, I'm pretty sure it saved all that nonsense every time I change boxes. But we save at the end just to be safe. Um, okay, and that's everything we need to do in yellow for right now. Uh, so now we go to options, go to Game Boy, set it for the way it needs to be set for red and blue, and then we open up red, which should be the next thing that we have to do. Spreadsheet over dated. that I did for blue for my spreadsheet, which is color things that need hid in red. catch three or uh, three extra oddish for uh, the other uh, team. Existence is not a Pokemon we care about. Um, we will add Abra to our team in this game. Yeah, we'll add Abra to our team in this game. Another Weedle to get rid of. Also, how are our Pokemon looking? Oh, right. This this is the file where I have a, a Pidgeotto who's just going a little, a little crazy. It didn't. Excuse me? I am 12 levels above, and you're telling me that didn't just take out the Weedle? I resent this. I resent this a lot. Also, uh, I'm, I'm putting the speed up button back. Life without it is just too hard. Can't handle it. Need that speed up button. Okay. Onward we go. Oh, there's not up here. Right. That. Oh, there's the Abra I need. Oh, I am leading with the wrong Pokemon. We'll throw a Pokeball out just in case it works, but... I actually need to be leading with Never Free until I have the Abra the Abras I need.
Will this ever get me into a fight? Okay. Sleep powder. Enemy Abra fell asleep. And we tackle to get it. Blow is still asleep. And now we tell it to get in the Pokeball. That is how you catch an Abra much more easily. Okay, now... Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see if one of these Mew guides actually works and gets us a Mew. I kinda don't think it will, but we'll see. What should I name my set of abros here? I believe I did Neo from the Matrix for the other set, so I should do something else. Since the whole joke about Alakazam is that it's got like an IQ of a three of, you know, like a ridiculous IQ. I'm gonna go, uh, no one is ever smarter for, for my set of Abras here. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go try the Abra glitch. Like, uh, that apparently gets him, oh hey, another Abra. I'll, I'll catch that on my way out, like. Sleep powder. Tackle. And it's still fast asleep. So we put it in a Pokeball. And there we go. Easy game, easy life. It's just that easy. Anyway, uh, this one is... is... ever... Also going to save state, and we're going to take out these jerks real quick. We're just gonna let our uh, the reason why is because for this glitch we need access to that trainer over there. So we're just clearing the way. And there we go.
Okay, and we will see if this actually works or if it is purely rumor. Because it definitely reads more like rumor to me. Like, absolutely. It does not feel real. Okay, uh... Also, we're going to reload it just in case save stating did something weird. Because sometimes it does with Game Boy Color games. Just the way battery saves work. The way emulators handle that. Okay, good. We're, we're fine. Okay, so... Oh, we need, we need to actually have Mew in our party for this. Or not Mew, uh... Abra in our party for this. We will deposit existence in there and then withdraw smarter. Pokemon, I... Okay, yeah. I can just use teleport. Cool. And it will heal up smarter, though, so just, just in case. Double check that we can, in fact, use teleport out of combat. Cool. Good to confirm. Um, okay. Save. I don't know if I did that correctly. I definitely didn't do it correctly that time. Because we don't want to get caught in a battle with this trainer. Tried to open the wrong uh, version. We open red. I'm gonna take the save up here. That way, if I mess this up, it's a faster restart. But again, I don't even know if this is true. Kind of feels like it's not. It definitely feels like a playground rumor. Yeah, I was mashing start and it did nothing. Thank you. 
There sure are a lot of people saying that, that that stuff like this is a real thing. Not sure that I believe it. about how this one is supposed to work. Pressing start there does not seem to... actually... work? There we go. Got the start press to work at least. Now we teleport. That's the interrupt we were looking for. Now start is locked out like it should be. That part of the glitch is working. to a great party. Okay, we beat up Slowpoke. I'm sure you're not mad, buddy. And now... We teleport. We go inside the Pokemon Center. And walk back out.
And we go up here. Our pause menu opens without us being able to choose that. And we exit it. We get into a fight. And I'll be damned, it does work. I can't believe that's... That doesn't feel like it should be real. But... So it is. Um, I'm going to save state here, so that way I can catch Muse for the other ones on different files. Um, and also so that way, you know, if I fail to catch this Mew, I have choices. Didn't affect enemy Mew, is that because it... There we go. Does Smarter have anything other than... I did not mean to just switch. That was an incorrect button press. Yeah, it, it only does teleport. Anyway, I wanted to switch to Chomp, because Chomp can attack. Um... Get it a bit lower. Because I'm sure it still counts as a legendary, therefore, it's really gonna be a bit of a challenge to catch with a regular Pokeball. I right, switch back out for Never Free to put it back to sleep. Back to sleep you go. And we use a Pokeball. And it just immediately broke free. Try again. There we go. Took a bunch of Pokeballs, but we got it. So we caught a Mew. The weather is still said to be a mirage by many experts. Only a few people have seen it worldwide. Yeah. Um... I'm still just amazed that that's, that that's real. I did not think it would be. I, I honestly thought that I was... That what I was reading was, like, people lying on the internet. Thought it was a meme. I, I legitimately thought there was a pretty good chance that catching Mew in this way was, was a meme. I knew it could be Game Sharked into the game, but... I didn't expect catching it in this way to, to work. Um, but okay, so we'll call this one... Uh, what should we call our muse? Uh, I have the most beautiful thing. Uh, musing. <laughs> uh, get it? Amusing. Anyways, so we'll have Mew at our party, because that's funny. Like, why not? Why shouldn't we have Mew, you know? So sorry, Abra, you've been replaced. Does Mew learn anything on leveling up, though, actually? Um. Okay, okay, yes, it does learn a couple of moves.
yeah. Uh, it can learn from every TM and HM in the game. Cool. I'm gonna be real hesitant about teaching it HMs though, since I can't remove those. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, smarter, get back in there. Actually, no, I don't need smarter. And I'll, I will eventually be forsaking Butterfree for, uh... I just realized I did not sort the stuff from the cave on this. I, I need to actually do some sorting. But we will withdraw Amusing first. Um, and the reason I need to do some sorting is because I have... Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen Pokemon in here. Which means that there's no way I make it to the end of uh to the end of the Pokemon I need to catch without filling up the box. So we need to deposit our other Pokemon. Uh, Charmy is the one that will stay in our party since we can't deposit everything. And we change box back to box 10. I just... I'm still processing the fact that that, that was a real way to catch Mew. Because it did not feel like it. It felt so fake. Um, Solid Snake is what that's begins. Oh, uh... Snake and Cobra are for blue. They're, they're tradable Pokemon, so I'll grab them first. Because they go in the trade box. Did not mean to hit that again. Uh, the boss it. Snake. Cobra. Okay, now we withdraw... Is Ever is an Abra? Yeah. Which we're going to leave in here, because we'll sort the Abras out later. Uh, Solid Snake, though, can be sorted. Uh, And then let's grab Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And then change box. Uh, okay, so over. And... Also, I, I guess I'll mark you as hot. I did it. Proof. <laughs> um. Anyway. Uh. So, Geodudes go in box four. That's where Dwayne the Rock Johnson goes. Pause it. Dwayne. The Rock. Johnson. And Atkins is... There's... Uh, goes in box two. Okay, 
change box back to box 10. And withdraw. Clefairy. Clefable. Then. Dragons are not good. And I won't be able to grab the worst existence yet. Okay, so Clefairy, Clefable. Uh, Person Parasector, box three. And Clerical Fabler, box two. are not good. Existence, and that goes in box three. Box, it's fine. Go dump that in box three. Now withdraw. Pause it. The worst existence. Do 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 do. Now we switch back to box 12, grab our team, okay, and now we, uh, Change box again to box ten. And now we save. And at this point, we're going to get uh Mew other two. Now that I know that catching Mew is actually possible there, it's valid. I'm gonna get two more Mews. Uh and trade them. So, yeah, we're just gonna do that real quick. Um, so what we're what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, close the emulator after having saved. Then, I'm going to just make sure that. Nothing's currently wrong with my save file, which is always an important thing to do. Um, yep, I've got him using in my party. Okay. Um, then I'm going to back up my save file. The state that it's in right now. Ooh. What is that? My uh, my emulator's been doing some weird things. It's um okay. Uh
copy of the save. Rename it after that way I know what it was. Um and then we reopen the emulator. Make sure that it is functioning properly still. Sometimes it doesn't like it when do that. Okay, yeah. Still functioning properly. That's that's good. That's cool. Okay. Now we're going to load the state where we were just fighting the Mew and see if we can recatch it since I have the correct save backed up. For sure. Means that this should be as safe as can be. Let me. Uh. Lower its health. Think it can take one more hit? It can. Cool. That is. This This is gonna be max, can, max catch chances. That is as good as I can make my chances. And cool, we got it immediately. Um, anyway, all the Mew names are going to be puns, I've decided. This one is Muse. Get it? Like a Muse? Anyway, um... And then the important thing is I need to make sure it doesn't freak out when I save. And then make sure that I can load the save, because that's what I have to be able to do in order to, uh, to trade with the other files. I have to be able to load the save. Um, let me open it again. And make sure that it loads the save just fine. Uh, it sure looks like it did. Just double check that we have a Mew in our PC. Yep. Sure do. Okay, we now have a, a Mew to trade to the other files. Um, that's our second Mew. So what we're going to do now is uh, close this because this isn't the emulator I can trade on. Um, go to yellow version. Uh, back up the save hello version um all, all that saved before me uh -huh. and then copy it over to a different here. Open yellow version. Do the same. 
Good to do file. So, me. Uh, you. Uh, you're making very liberal use of speed up for this. Uh, roll hover. Uh, visible again. I need to resize them properly, but you know, we're working on it. Um, for the record, this is why I haven't been creating Pokemon. It's because it's an annoying amount of uh to manage the saves between the emulator that I prefer playing on and the emulator that I can actually um. There we go. There you are now both visible. Moving some stuff around because I now really need my. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is go catch a random Pokemon. That that's gonna get traded. Need to catch some kind of trade fodder. Um, this will have to weaken it for me. Oh, I do print credit. That's less than ideal. Okay, this time for sure. I'll even scratch so I don't have. Stab. That'll have to do. Cool. Caught it. You don't want to give it a name to Spiro. Okay. Um, I also just realized that I need to do a little bit more in order for the Mew to be on this version. Uh, I actually need to close that. Go over here. There we go. And now it should be. I would have figured out in just a second when I tried to load it and there was no file. Um Okay. Oh wait, I'm dumb. I forgot to uh forgot to actually get the Spiro in my party. I feel silly. Bill's PC. Deposit. Uh, Prince. Draw. Spiro. Okay, then. Okay, now I can do the trade, because now they both actually have the Pokemon that I want to trade in their thing. Also, I just realized I am not sure that trading a Mew will work, but I sure am down to try. And I assume it works like trading any other Pokemon. And what do you know? It does. Okay, cancel, 
cancel. And there we have it. My yellow file now has a mu. I still need to do some more file management, but fundamentally yellow now has a mu. Um, Okay, uh, now I close these to make sure they're no longer editing the files. I copy the save file back over. And then I reopen the emulator. Reopen yellow. Make sure that I don't have to do any other extra stuff. Continue. And we make sure that, yep, we now have Muse in our party. Cool. Um, I'm going to put it in the correct box. Uh, it goes in box 8. For right now, I probably will eventually have it be a part of my party, but until I've done a few more, like level 30 is a pretty low level limit since it's a traded Pokemon, so I don't really want to do that, um, just yet, but eventually for sure. Okay, now we withdraw Prince again, then we save. I'm wondering why the coloring is off, it's because I didn't fix the color settings or the palette flopping stuff it can do. Anyway, um, now that we've saved, we're going to switch over to red version. Okay, now we uh, load this state again, and we catch our third Mew. And Mew Mew is fast asleep. Then we, uh, get Chomp out here to weaken it. One, two, three, four. And we switch Never Free back. Put it back to sleep. And then catch it, or attempt to catch it, with the best chance that we can, you know, get on it. Which is honestly still not amazing, but it's the best we can get. That's how it works when you're trying to catch a legendary Pokemon with a normal Pokeball. Okay, what's our, what's our Mew joke today? Um, or this time, rather. Uh, I already did amused and, or amusing, and I already did muse, uh, so what, what's another, uh, birds with mu. Pretty short words. Uh, a good short word with me. 
Mm -hmm. Preferably a word that's, like, related. Because, like, muse is usually, uh, like, mew would make a good muse by the definition of muse in most things. Uh, being something mysterious and rare. Uh, amusing is a bad pun on the fact that its name is a joke. Um... <laughs> yeah, actually, we'll, uh... I, I just figured out what we're naming one of our Mewtwo's, if I remember. Mewton. <laughs> Mewtwoed. It's hilarious. I'm hilarious. Don't let reality convince you otherwise. Um... Let's see... Hmm... Good. I'm just looking through words that have M.U. in them and seeing if I can find any... any good ones. Not finding very many good ones. Having a really hard time finding good ones, actually. Jeez. Uh, apparently I used the two best ones already. We're going with mutate, because uh, it's the best I can find, and we'll, and we'll make a f uh, the Mewtwo for this one be the Mewtwo 8. Um, Smarter, withdraw, mutate. Save. Uh, this is red. Um, but I'm about to be trading between red and blue because I didn't, I uh, forgot about that the Mew thing was even a thing that you could do. Um, and I just did that. But I forgot to do it when I was playing blue or yellow. But I'm playing red, blue, and yellow, to be clear. I'm playing all three editions. I'm doing this across all three. Getting one of every single Pokemon in the box. Um, so yeah, uh, I need to trade this Mew that I just caught over to blue. Uh, which will require me to do some file management. Which means I need to close that. There will be nothing on screen for a moment while I do that. Getting that the Mew thing was there. Uh, yeah, it works. It's completely functional. You can trade between emulators. Um, you can even trade online, like, over the internet between emulators these days, which is wild. Um, uh, I haven't tried that myself, so I'm not sure how well that one works. 
but trading locally is perfectly possible. Um, uh, I will show you. So uh, there's a couple of ways to do it. Like a couple emulators now have that feature because people wanted it. So uh, they made it. You. Uh, I'm backing up the the blue save before I do this, just in case I screw something up somehow. You no, know, always better to be safe. Um. So I use uh. GGB dual to, to do it um, because it's literally what it's built for is for uh, doing this is for having two uh, Game Boy games that communicate with each other Um, but yeah, so I have, so the way TGB dual works is it has two effectively connected windows. You load games in each. You can even load the same game because of the way it handles save files. Um, not the same save file though, just the same cartridge, like the same literal game. Um, and, uh, Okay, um, yeah, so I'll just go up here and do the trading as if they were connected by a link cable, and it just works. As for how they are handling this, like, on the code again, how the emulator does it, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I have a CS background, but I don't know anything about emulators for Game Boy. Um... I do, however, need to go and catch a uh, Pokemon. This is probably the Pokemon least likely to... I was like, what? which of my Pokemon is least likely to one-shot this Spearow? And uh, it's this, apparently. Okay, cool. I do not want to give a nickname to Spearow because it's trade fodder. Meaning that it's just here to get traded over. Um, yeah, I didn't either until I was like, I want to do this challenge, but I need to be able to trade for it, right? In order to have one of every Pokemon in the box, and even just to complete the Pokedex, you need to be able to trade. Uh, to do one of every, one of every Pokemon in the box, like, I need to do a lot of trading. <laughs> like, I need to do significantly more trading. Um... <laughs> Uh, oops. Hit deposit. We'll just throw a bite in there. Then withdraw the Spiro. Uh, exit that. Uh, also, just to illustrate how much trading is required for um, what I'm doing here, uh, if I go over to box one on red because it's the only file i've bothered doing it because it takes like two hours to do this uh but not that long it took like an hour so i have somewhere in here uh these are all starters um i i have i have all i have eight starters in box one uh on my red file because I just kept restarting a file on the second uh, screen and trading the starters to the first file. So that way I could have enough starters to have one of every uh, starter Pokemon in the evolution chains that they have, right? There's nine of them, the one started for the first file that I'm actually using, and then the eight starters that I had to just trade in. Um, 
made me really poor for a while because uh that's just eight pokeballs that i had to just burn in order to get the starters and i can't use the starters because until i got to cat until you beat the cerulean gym level 10 to your maximum <laughs> for uh for what pokemon will obey you traded which is not a useful maximum um which i'm pretty sure is deliberate but they want you to to learn how to catch pokemon yourself um right uh most annoying thing about this is doing this across two sets of controls is a little hard to do in your head for me at least um but it's still doable and for being able to trade with yourself absolutely worth it because the hardware to trade with yourself is rather expensive these days um Okay, uh, cancel, cancel, then, oops, reset, reset, and now we close them, then we get our red and blue files back to where they should be. Copy that blue font. Backups, call it after meal. Yeah, the, the most annoying part about trading with yourself is uh, TGB Duel is not a very fun emulator to use uh, for actually playing the game, um, in my opinion. It's not terrible, but, like, it's not super convenient. It's not what I would, like, want to be using, you know? And that means that you have to do a lot of file management between emulators to do this um but on the other hand if you're okay with playing in black and white and not using a controller it's functional as an emulator so uh i just prefer being able to actually have color um okay now i just need Fix my red file back to it having its own mu. There we go. Okay. Now we open. My preferred emulator is Visual Boy Advance M, which is the. Uh, if you know what Visual Boy Advance is for emulators, at some point it so people stopped updating it whoever started it, and M is other people took up the project to continue building it. Um, okay, back to red and doing Route 24 and getting to build, which is what I was doing before I got distracted by the reminder that that's the route that you do the Mew thing on. Um, which, it's still wild to me but that's a way that you can catch me in the original game. It feels like a playground rumor. When I heard it the first time, I thought it was a playground rumor because that's what it feels like. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a real thing that if you teleport away from, if you teleport or fly away from uh, a trainer right as they're about to walk up to you, and then you walk up to it, and then you go and fight a specific other trainer, and then walk back to the first area, you will get attacked by a Mew. That doesn't sound real, but it is. That is in fact how it works. Anyway, so we have... Oh, I should heal, I'm using. Uh... 
because I'm gonna be switch training amusing from now on. Because, I mean, I caught the muse, so I may as well use it, right? Like, went to all that effort. Okay, uh, yeah, this team works for now. At some point, I'm gonna get the uh, Rattata up to Eradicate, and then stop using it. But it can sit there for now. I'll switch train it up to 20 eventually. Or just have it fight up to 20. I don't know. I'll get it up to 20, is what my point. Um, anyway, uh, now that I've done that, I can fight this trainer. Uh, since I had to avoid fighting the trainer for the glitch to work. Um, which, getting an Abra without fighting this trainer is annoying. You have to, like, awkwardly walk around him. Because this is the easiest spot to catch an Abra. Anyway, yeah, Abra only- er, uh, not Abra, uh, Mew only knows Pound, which is unfortunate for Mew, but, uh... We'll switch... Big Bro in? Yeah. And Mew Rattata used Quick Attack! Yeah, good for you, buddy. I'm happy for you, really. Anyway... Bye bye I said bye bye Okay, this is embarrassing, uh, but it's okay, because it's gone down now. Um, <laughs> anyway, our Mew leveled up, and has honestly bonkers stats for a level 8 Pokemon. Like, everything's above 20 at level 8? Okay. Uh, anyway, we switch Mew back in just so we can switch Mew back out. <laughs> We gotta, gotta get that switch training in, you know? We gotta get Mew high enough level that it knows the other moves. <laughs> Cause like, Pound isn't a bad move. But like, when it's your whole move tree, that's kind of a problem. We did it. Anyway, uh, I do not remember what I had and hadn't caught. You know what? Mew can win this one. Mew doesn't need help. Yeah, Mew leveled up all on their all on its own. Good job, Mew. Okay, uh, heal up because I can. But we're actually just here to check the box so I remember what I've caught here. Now that I'm not distracted by the... Um, by the thing. Okay, so we have... Is ever so we, have, so we just have two Abras, that's all we caught. Okay. I mean... Makes sense. How many Pokeballs do I have? 17? That's enough. Um, but yeah, so we've got 17, uh... Pokeballs, which is more than enough. We need to catch three Oddish for red, three Oddish for blue, um, and then one more Abra. This is probably the thing that's least likely to just kill it. Oh, I forgot. I can't have Mew at the front right now. It's actually important. I, I need Butterfree at the front so I can catch Abras. <laughs> um, because I need I need to open with sleep. I need to be able to open with sleep powder. I get paralyzed. And that should be enough for me to catch it pretty easily. Or not, it healed itself, so I guess I'll hit it one more time. Yeah, that's right, you're fully paralyzed. Anyway, the first of six Oddish. One of six caught.
Um. Okay. Let's see. Need a need a good uh name joke for the first three oddish. Um thinking something about sweet scent. Does Oddish learn sweet scent in Gen 1? Is sweet scent a thing in Gen 1? Sure isn't. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm still going to make a sweet scent joke. Uh, but first, let me check and make sure it'll fit. Sweet scent. Okay. Uh. This one is very high. Okay, that's one of six. Oddish one of six. I forgot to. Well, this is unfortunate. Um, we'll throw out the Pokeball, and I can't believe that worked. I feel betrayed by all the times I've actually properly set up on Abra's. I threw that Pokeball just in case. Anyway, this one is no one. The, the name joke for this one is no one is ever smarter. Because Alakazam's whole thing is having a ridiculous IQ. Okay, here's our next Oddish. Uh, this time... Can... I don't think a level 25 can touch it. I think Charmy might be able to touch it if it just scratches. Yeah. Because Oddish, Oddishes are decently tanky in this gen. Woohoo! We're fine. We're fine. We did not almost kill an Oddish. <laughs> Get in the Pokeball. Um. Okay, uh, this one is makes you. Okay. Oh boy, it's a Pidgey. Yeah, the whole, I I I was just hitting it to test how uh, how ridiculous the uh, the the Muse base stats were, and yeah, it's it's roughly equivalent to a level thirteen Pidgey. It's roughly equivalent to a a Pokemon four levels above it. Good job, Mew. It learned Transform. So now, when simply punching the enemy is not enough, it can do other things. It almost one-shot that Abra. Enemy Abra is going to run from the battle, so there's not much I can do about it. Until Mew can Oko them. Yeah, it can just, it can just fight on its own at this point. It doesn't need other people. Okay, if we could run into some more Oddishes, I do still need four more game. It's so like, if we could... Oh, it got sand attacked. No, we're not. We're not dealing with that annoyance. Get out of here. Our Mew's already up to level 12, so you know. Good for Mew. Mew is fine. Great, even. Uh, okay, here's our... Third Oddish. Uh, Charmander worked pretty well at weakening it last time. As long as I don't crit twice, we're good. And if I crit on the first hit, I'm not swinging again. So, uh, 
Okay, this one will be called Sweet Scent. I just need to think of another name for Oddishes. Um... Sweet scent. Also, let me uh, go over here. Being a little too liberal with the speed up. I honestly forgot that, uh, that those existed in first gen. I've never been one to, like, try to actually max out that kind of stuff. It just seems like so much effort, anyway. Uh, what should I do with my next set of Oddishes? Every more- I, I need another, uh, coherent name for them. Um... make a mandragora joke it doesn't really work because they don't hide underground um let's see uh we'll go with escape from the gloom escape from the gloom yeah yeah, that, that, that's what we'll go with. So this one is called, will be called Bloom. It's kind of not a great name, but I can't think of a better one at the moment, so it's what we have, you know? He's just... Okoing most of these. And is now just at the point where Mew just bubbles up. Great. All on its own. Doesn't need help. I honestly did not expect Mew to level up so quickly, but we'll take it. Okay, let's catch this. There's another Oddish. Uh, okay, so escape from the gloom. So this, is, this one is from the... I mean, yeah, that's absolutely true. I've never been on into the, like, uh, PvP side of Pokemon, so, like, and that's really the only time you need maxed out anything. Like, PvE Pokemon is, uh, very casual, <laughs> uh, friendly. Because it's not hard. Like, you know, it's like, you could max out your, like, the, max out the potential of your Pokemon, it's like, you get to Oko the Elite Four even harder. Like, you can already do that pretty easily. <laughs> like, it's already not hard to just Oko your way through the Elite Four. They're already easy to one-hit KO. Um, this one was... Escape. Hmm, and it's called Escape from the Gloom because the last one is no longer a gloom, it's a vile plume. Yes. 
It's a name that makes some sense, at least. Anyway, that's all the Pokemon I need to catch, so now we can go beat up the trainers. We'll heal again real quick first. And now we just gotta clear the remaining trainers on our way to Bill. And then we'll have done that on all three of them, so we can continue on this one onto the next route. After, of course, buying more Pokeballs. Because you can never have enough. You can never have enough Pokeballs when you need to catch 151 Pokemon. Let's see, do I think you can win this one? Yeah, you can win this one. Use the level down, but that's not going to stop you from just winning. <laughs> I might put Mew in the box just because this feels unfair. Like, Mew's stats are around the same tier as Mewtwo's. So I'm I'm effectively just playing with an endgame legendary. And uh Yeah, if it keeps just if if at the time that it's like uh, level 20, it starts just mugging everything. I'll probably, uh, just not have it, because it's, it's eventually going to be a, a really good psychic type. Uh, no. no never freaking just handle it. Never freaking just handle it. Never freaking just handle it. Butterfree the ne or never free the butterfree. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to hit up there. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to come back once I know cut now. How annoying. Curious. Okay, it doesn't let me during, look at the stats of the Pokemon I have out during combat. Mm. Whatever, I will come back for this item later. Um, but yeah, out of curiosity, so the stats on... I'm using are pretty much all 40s compared to Charmander's three levels higher one stat has reached 40. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you knew you had to fight me? Why didn't you run then? How foolish. Nah. You can just handle it. I'll get through the sand attacks, it's fine. Yeah, okay. Mew stats are, uh... It's something that you don't really register as much, because by the time... you're facing legendaries, your Pokémon are so high level that, like, in casual play you're just not going to register how much higher their stats are. But, uh, man, when you get to just have them, uh, from the beginning, you can, you can really feel the difference. It is kind of amusing watching Mew just destroy enemies, though. And, like, is Pound a good move in this gen? Like... How, how good is Pound in this gen? Uh, look it up real quick. Look at gen 1. Uh, yeah, it's only a 40 power move. 
Yeah, slightly stronger than tackle is the rating for it. It's not a good move. Like, it's not a bad move, but it's not especially good. Ah, uh, it quick attacked. My Mew finally got taken down. But yeah, like, compare its stats to Never Freeze. Never Free is four levels higher now, and the only stat it beats Mew in is special. Uh, no. Abandon learning supersonic. Oh, uh, we'll March change Pokemon? No. We'll just finish it off with Never Free, because I don't feel like thinking about the rest of the fight. Anyway, Bill needs our help. And we fix it. There we go, we, we talked to Bill. If you're wondering why I sped through that, it's because I've already seen it twice today. Um, like, I've seen that twice in the last 24 hours. I really didn't uh, need to read it a third time. And Pokemon Yellow is the best version of it anyway. I think it'd be... I just thought of something really funny that I could do. It's abs it'd be so stupid, but I could make Mew a HM slave. <laughs> it'd be an utter waste of Mew. Okay, you still say the same thing as before, you're just not blocking the door anymore. I see. Must be trying to dig their way into no good. Oh, I see, they, they took dig. Those miserable rockets. Look what they did here. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. It cost me a bundle, it did. Don't worry, buddy. I will I will get it back for you. And then use it myself. Hey. Okay. This is my saying. Don't you believe me? Also, apparently this guy talked his way past the cops. Dressed like that. What do you say? I just like wearing an R on my chest? Like, he's got the uniform on. What are the police even doing? I mean, at least Surf is a good move, so like, I'll pro- I might teach me a Surf. I might use it as the one that I use for Surf. A serve is, in fact, a, a good move. Uh, or at least not a bad one. What is Surf's power? Casually look it up. Um, look it up in Gen 1. Yeah, it's got 95 power, so that that's pretty good. Uh... That, that is some pretty solid damage. Uh, going to actually uh, move Cer my Cerebi page back to uh, the routes, because I'm about to move to the next route. <laughs> Why is... Yeah, I did not realize that Mew's stats were, uh... so, like, comically higher than other Pokémon. <laughs> like, at this level, like, really, Mew's only limited by the fact that it only knows Pound. That's all that's slowing it down, really. Um, what is my answer to Psychic Pokemon right now, actually? Do I have one? 
Let me look at the type chart again. Psychic is only weak against Bud. Cool. So what I'm hearing is I don't actually have a good answer to psychic types. So I'm gonna switch something in that's just gonna mug it with stats. Just mug it with stats. It's fine. Like, just mug it by being eight levels above it. We did it. Stop, I give up, I'll leave quietly. I'll return the TM I restole. I better get moving, bye. Anyway, uh, I got the TM back for you. Or it's lost a lot, so I'd say Chich Diglett had to dig without a TM. Okay. Let's try and dig their way into no good. I, I like how I, I went and got it back for him, and he's like, I don't need it anymore. Like, okay. Okay, you don't even... <laughs> I'm glad the police in the Pokemon world are useful. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Ay. Anyway, so I can't go this way yet. But I have to go this way. This is the part of Pokemon that I'm like very much not as certain about where I need to or can go. Okay, so this is the daycare. I remember this being here. And this is the underground path to Vermilion City. So this will give me the SS Anne and the next badge. And it looks like that's it, because I can't go through the, the thing here right now. Um, so this is, what route is this? technically, that I'm in. Oh, please, excuse. Route 5. Okay. Uh, let me see what Pokemon are available in Route 5. Mankey! And that's it. Uh, for... That's, that's all I need here. Is Mankey. Um, and this is where you get Abra and Jigglypuff in, uh, yellow. But... For red, all I need from here is Mankey, so let's... Oh, I forgot that sleep continues to persist. It took forever to wake up. You did not successfully win. Unsurprising. When you start a battle by napping, it usually doesn't go great for you. That's okay, we'll let Everfree get- Oh, right, super effective. Whoops. a lot of murdering of Pidgeys while we look for Mankeys. And then we don't hit them with ne- actually wait, we tackle them with Never Free. Yeah. That won't Oko. Cool. Cool. Great. Amazing even. Um. Okay, get in the Pokeball. That's what I thought. Extremely quick to anger. Could be docile one moment and thrashing away the next instant. I do want to give a nickname to Mankey. Um, what do I want to make it? Uh... Also, do I have to trade for the Meow? I... Do, but so does yellow. That's awkward. I already have two Mankeys on yellow to give to blue, so I'll just only catch the two that red needs and I'll figure out some other time to trade me outs over. Um, also, I forgot to mark you as obtained on my spreadsheet for, uh, all of them. Let's get that mark. Then for red, I need to mark that I obtained an Oddish 
have something that will turn into Gloom, I have something that will turn into Vile Plume. Then where are the Gauth and Persian Arcade. I bought an Abra. What I get? This is what I get for not updating my uh, spreadsheet. Thought something that will turn into Canabra. Thought something that will turn into Alakazam. Then the Bell Sprout line needs to be traded. Okay. Cool, I have now marked everything I did. Awesome. Okay, back to thinking of nicknames for Mankey. Um, you know, I'm gonna call it Hulk Smash. So, this one is Smash, the next one will be Hulk. We're starting to hit the point where Butterfree's starting to feel a bit weak, but you know, that's that's okay. Yeah, we tackle. And then we sleep powder. And then we throw a Pokeball. And it catches nice and easy. Okay, well. As I was saying, it catches nice and easy. That's what I thought. <laughs> um. Anyway, give a nickname to Mankey, we call this one Hole. Okay, is there any point to visiting this guy other than to give him Pokemon? No. Okay. There's no other point right now, then. We shall continue on. Uh... And these people don't let me in until I have water to give them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we... Go... Through here. Hello. No. I do not want to trade Nidoran for Nidoran. That is not something I'm into. Man, that tunnel was really short. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, uh... I still... Is this still Route 5? No, this is Route 6. Okay. Which means that I do, in fact, need to, uh... Check to see. Looks like Route 5 and 6 are the same. Cool. Uh, that means that I can just pass through and not switch versions until I get to Vermilion, which is appreciated. Okay, nothing there. What's here? Oh, it's just the other, uh, side of that. It just didn't look like a guardhouse. Anyway, let's make sure we get all the trainers here. There aren't many bugs out here. I'm sure there aren't. Anyway. Easy. Thanks for your money, kid. Beat up a manky. There, quit listening in on us. <laughs> One, I'm not listening in on you. You're cool, your britches. But, uh, two, um, you can't beat me, buddy.
I'm gonna have to switch Never Free out of the front here. Uh, just because Never Free is getting low on confusions. So we'll let our Pikachu get some more levels. This is a private conversation! Goodbye. Getting every item in game. Oh gosh, that would be a challenge. That would be a much harder challenge in Gen 1. Um, because in later gens, you could fix mistakes. Uh, because you can give items to Pokemon to hold, right? And they'll hold anything. So you could transfer any non-key items that way. Uh, and I don't. I think in this case, getting every item in game would be impossible because you can't get both fossils. Um, and because Pokemon can't hold items, you have no way to trade items between files. Uh, like you can Pokemon themselves. So you would just be unable to do it. Uh, now if you went, if you just went the route of getting every item that you can get simultaneously, um... First... Butterfree's high special defense. Um, but yeah, if you went for every item that you can get simultaneously, that's certainly more... Like, that's that's definitely achievable. Um, but I'm also not sure it'd be interesting. I don't know. Uh... Let me switch Charmy to the front. We can't let our starter fall too behind in level, you know? Gotta let it get some XP. Well, okay, I'll play. Anyway, there's level 20. Got to use Pidgey again? Well, get Embered. Oh, what do you know? Third Pidgey, get Embered. Your all Pidgey strategy didn't work out for you. And you know, if you level them up enough, it'll work. So, keep training, I guess. Rude, could you, could you not? Don't be rude. Also, where do you get Y in this game? Sixteens were back again. Oh, I see. I see. We need the uh, need dig. Or not dig. Uh, the bike. I don't know why I said dig. I think it's because there was a diglet on the on the screen I was looking at. We need cut to get there, and we probably also need the bike. But that's not a huge ask. Um, so I'll we'll probably attempt to get that pretty soon. Like, I'll probably go do the SSN to get cut. I should carry more Pokemon with me for safety. What's your secret? Uh, being better than you. 
We're careful about pollution. We prefer Grimer multiplies and toxic sludge. Wow, getting rid of Grimer's natural environment. Can't believe this. So toxic. We fainted while we were walking. Pokemon will have weak points against specific types. There's no universally strong Pokemon. My Mew begs to differ. They're the same level. Pokemon can have very different abilities. Pokemon raised by a trainer is stronger than one in the wild. I didn't mean to talk. It, my brain was being silly. Don't need to talk to you. Um. Okay, we'll explore the town. Simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes, grand. I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. And we now have the old rod. Fishing is a way of life. These rivers go out and land the big one, young one. Uh, so aside from immediately getting a magic carp, because you know it's funny, um, we're not gonna do much else with the old rod. So let me, uh... Go all the way up. There we go. It's a bite! We got a magic carp! I think Chomp might be able to touch it without... Actually, on second thought, I don't think Chomp can. I think if Chomp hits it, it, it still dies. So we're just going to put it to sleep and catch it without hitting it, you know? Like we, don't, we don't need to hit it. We can just tell it to take a nice nap. Stop splashing about, take a nap as you suffocate on land. Um, peacefully go to sleep, it'll be fine. Okay, rude. Catching low-level Pokemon is honestly kind of a challenge. It's like, what can I do to it that won't just end it? Okay, we got a magic card. It was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, so this one we'll call Dragon. And the other one we'll call Carp. It's a bite! Okay, swamp in never free again. Go to sleep. Up. I've only got one Pokeball left, so if it doesn't want to get hurt, it better get in the Pokeball. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, buddy. Um, we'll call it Carp. Yeah, because you bought the, the Magic Carp. Yeah. I was tight on money, so I decided not to. Chop is stomping the land plant. Good for you, Machop. I think building this plot of land, my Pokemon is tamping the land. You know what? Good, good for all of you. I hope putting up your building goes great. The port of exquisite sunsets. Okay. 
Okay, uh... I mean, good or evil depends on the trainer. I'm sure it does. There are people who use Pokemon for criminal acts. Team Rocket traffics in rare Pokemon. They also abandon Pokemon they consider not to be popular or useful. Okay. Anyway, we need more Pokeballs. So, you know, as per usual, that's where all our money goes. Shall leave some money in case we need it. Oh, I see. We can't go to the gym till we learn cut. So I guess we'll do that first. <laughs> I was going to uh, go. Do I want to trade it for far fetched? I'm gonna say no for right now. But I'll remember that you're here in case it's convenient for me to do later. Anyway, uh, Vermilion City. Um. I'm looking at the rough level of the gem, so it's mid-twenties, so I'm a little bit under-leveled for it, but I mean, I don't disagree. Like, it is relatively cheap. Um, I just uh, because you can't go back to Mount Moon for such a long time, I needed enough Pokeballs to catch all the Pokemon in it. I just love my seal. It squeals when I hug it. I'm happy for you. I collect over 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, do you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm glad you had so much fun. Also, we got a bike voucher. And I just want to acknowledge that that's kind of ridiculous. This dude is just gave away the equivalent of like a million dollars. <laughs> like, bikes are expensive in this game. This, my, my man just gave me like a Ferrari. For, for no good reason. Saffron in the north. Uh, cool. Good for you, buddy. Um, okay, so we will do the SSN and the gym, but I need to run to the restroom first, so BRB.
I've returned. I'm ready to take on the SSN. We visit Vermilion once a year. Welcome to SSN. You have a ticket? Great, welcome to SSN. Yep. Bye. Yeah, I went to the Pokemon. You might be challenged by the more bored ones. Good. I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna remove the bored ones. Pokemon from Awakeness. Fight me. My Pokemon are my only friends. <laughs> like how he's like announcing that like he's proud of it, like buddy. Ooh. Growlithe art for Gen 1 is... I do not like it. It's like, it's not the worst, but I definitely feel like in Gen 1 they didn't really have a, a solid feel for what their style was yet. Like, it's not like it's bad, they just definitely didn't... Like, it's it's very distinctive. There's a, there's a style to Pokémon. And the way things look, anyway. You should be nice to friends! Yeah, you should have thought of that before you challenged me to a battle. <laughs> I am nice to my friends, they're just not yours. You pup, how dare you barge in! I mean, honestly, dude's got a point. Like, I did just barge on in. But I'm still going to beat up his Pokemon. <laughs> like, you're not wrong, but I'm still going to beat you up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're still valuable XP and money. He just has two Nidorans, which is like, fair, man, fair. It's wild to me how apparently common it is to just have, like, two Pokémon in, in the Pokémon world. Like, I'm not saying that I would necessarily, even as a regular person who's not a trainer, have six, but like, I don't know, I feel like if I was gonna be challenging people to battle, I'd have more than two. Or one. There's a lot of trainers that only have one. But they're still, like, out here challenging people to battle. Like, I'd be like, nah, if I've only got one, I'm not challenging anyone to anything. Anyway, we're going to go heal Mew real quick. Um, but I suspect that getting to the end of, uh, the SSN on red will probably be end of stream for today. Because I have other stuff I have to do today. Um, but getting uh, SSN and the gym, and that'll probably take, like, combined another hour. Uh, and so I expect to finish stream around the time that I finish both of those. Yeah, yeah. Can you discard your ticket? I feel like the answer is surely not, but like, I wouldn't be surprised if you could. Like a cherry pie, please. Uh, sure, ma'am, right away. I'm not bringing her a pie, uh, but... She doesn't need to know that. I always travel with Wigglytuff. 
You know what? I'm I'm happy for you. You two look happy. Good for you. I'm the waiter on the ship. I'll be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, the strong, silent type. Okay. I love Pokemon. Do you? I mean, I, I'm just gonna sh casually show you the rarest Pokemon that's in that that's in this entire region. So, you know, you could say so. Like, Mew is, Mew is literally... I just realized, going around with Mew as my uh, party lead means that I am drastically increasing the number of people who have seen Mew in the world. Um, like, it's supposed to be super rare. Anyway, we learned Mega Punch, which means that we now have a better move. Um, I don't know how much better, and I might look that up because I'm curious. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. Mega Punch. How good is Mega Punch? Uh, base power 80, but only 85 accuracy. I mean, the power on that's really good. I'm not sure I like the accuracy, but that doesn't mean I won't gamble. You know? That doesn't mean I won't gamble. Just because it would be a bad idea. My controller come. It did. My controller came unplugged. Let me fix that. There we go. Bob. Okay, if it's in me with sand attack anyway, I'm gonna use pound. Also, it was low on health. Mega Punch would have been overkill. I mean to uh select that. Smack it down once again. We did it. Wahoo. You hurt my poor worldly Pokemon. Nah, you can do that. You challenged me to a fight. Like, I'm just walking around. On the trail of Team Rocket. Okay. Good for you, buddy. Happy for you. We're busy here! Out of the way! Okay, rude. Gotta be like that. Hmm, yummy. How would you not know if you have enough delays at this point? Poor guy. Well, it does is eat and sleep. My kind of guy. Might have Snorlax in my party just because it is a good Pokemon and we like Snorlax. It's an odd ball in the trash. Wait. There's a limit to how many items you can hold? I had completely forgotten that that was even... Even a thing in Gen 1. Anyway, uh, so we will, uh, utilize the fancy speed-up button to get the item storage. Uh, we're just gonna... Put all of our TMs and stat ups and I did not mean to destroy the town map. Get out in a second. Put the rare candy in two. 
the I actually no, we'll keep the escape rope on us. Put the TM in. Put the moonstone in. Gum Falls is a key item, so we'll keep it. We should be fine just putting all the TMs in. That should free up more than enough space. Store the nugget for right now. I know store the old rod. Put another TM in. Put another TM in. Put another TM in. Okay, now withdraw. Account map. Potions, so we'll just stack it with our other potions. And the old rod. Okay. There we go. Now we'll swamp the Pokeball. Top position. Then the town map to the next position, and the old rod to the position after that. Okay, cool. I've now successfully managed my items. I honestly had forgotten that was even a thing I had to do. But here we are. <laughs> like, it had completely, uh, flipped my mind. I was, uh, I was clearing through the SN, and when I got to the Great Ball and the Trash Can, the game told me I was carrying too many, too many items. Uh, so I had to go back to the Pokey Center to, uh, dump all of my TMs into the, uh, PC. Because I had forgotten that that was even a thing I had to do in this game. Uh, but yeah, I just beat up a bunch of trainers on, on this area. On this floor. Anyway, got a great ball. Anyway, uh, now that we've done that... Um, an up staircase? No, it's a down staircase. Okay. We'll go all the way down first, I suppose. I don't remember which way is the one we're supposed to go, but... He has enough strength to move big rocks. Good for him. I'm proud of him. A sailor's pride is at stake. Yeah. I had just completely forgotten that there even was a re like a, a bag limit in this game that you would realistically hit. It had completely slipped my mind. Okay, well what I get for not using a 100 accuracy move. Honestly, my fault. Uh, yes, I will. I will let, uh, Pikachu get some XP. I my rat- my Rattata's level 11. I should actually switch, be switch training it or something. But it's fine, whatever. Your spirit sank me! Sure, buddy. What do they say about sailors and fighting? I don't, actually. What, what do they say about sailors and fighting, buddy? Um... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm honestly unaware of any relevant sayings, or... Okay, well... Uh, I don't feel like fighting while well confused, so we're gonna... Switch ride in. Okay, well... I mean, yeah, if you couldn't store items on the PC, you just have to... At that point, you just have to what, like use TMs, like, especially since, like, once you have all the HMs, like, that's, like, a not insignificant portion of your, uh, inventory at that point is just key items.
Hey, buddy. I like feisty kids like you. Okay. Mm. Happy for you? Don't know why you felt the need to tell me that. Um. I feel like that's like the re reasonable response to like most of the things that trainers say before fighting you is like, cool story, bro, but why are you telling me? <laughs> why did you think I needed to know what you just said? Yeah, I will change to uh Pikachu, let Pikachu get some XP. I just realized I don't have I'm about to go into an electric gym. I don't have a good answer to the to electric type at all. Hold up, I need to think about this for a second. Um, what do I do against electric Pokemon right now? I've got nothing. <laughs> I may have made a slight miscalculation. Um, because my highest level Pokemon's a Pidgeotto. <laughs> And that's not exactly a great choice. And even my Pidgeotto is lower level than the highest level Pokemon in the gym. It's lower level than the Raichu. Uh, let me look at my Pokemon chart. Electric is also weak to... Oh, no, just ground in this gen. That's awkward. Um, I might have to go grind a Geodude up real quick. Um, because, um, yeah, uh, sailors have Pokemon too. Good for you, buddy. I would assume so. Everyone has Pokemon. Like, who do you think doesn't? Anyway, uh, let me get Mew some more levels, because Mew's like a, a decent Pokemon for me to switch, for me to use for uh, the upcoming gym. So we're gonna let Mew absorb a lot of the experience from the SSN. Uh, and we will probably just go level up a Geodude. Stop and chat, all my Pokemon are from the sea, that's good for you, buddy. My Mew's here to, uh, end all of your Pokémon. Mew stats continue to rise at a really good rate. Uh... I'm trying to think of... I could go to the- I could go to Diglett Cave. And go catch a Diglett. That's not the worst plan. Um, cause that that wouldn't be too hard. Uh, what level are the Diglets? The East, right? Yeah, Diglett Cave. What level are the Diglets in it? Uh, they're in the fifteen to twenty range. That's totally fine, actually. To just hatch a Diglett and use it. And if I level it up off of the rest of the gym, it'll become a Doug Trio by the end of it. That's what we're doing. Um We're gonna go get a Diglett <laughs> and use it. <laughs> Like, between having a Diglett and Mew, we shouldn't have a problem clearing the gym. Like, those two combined should be all we need. Uh, speaking of, I'm going to go heal real quick. over this way.
Luxury liner for trainers. Serve so report real parties with invited trainers. That's cool. Anyway. I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. Cool. Thanks for the information. Check out what I fished up! So many fishermen. I mean, it makes sense we're on a cruise- we're on a ship, but like... You know, actually, does that make sense? I don't know of any... I don't know why I didn't switch Mew out for being confused. That's just the logical thing to do. Yeah, I should switch it out. Um, work on the leveling up army? Okay, well, I'm getting wrapped, so that's rude. Okay, well, I got the scratch off, so joke's on you. Um, we'll change Pokemon. Get me back out here. I'm so glad the confusion wears off when you, uh, do that. I have to, I guess Diglett's just gonna have to solo the dungeon for, uh, Blue. Cause I, cause my Mew would probably hit level 30 on it and it's a traded Pokemon so to stop obeying me. Um, which is kind of a problem. Anyway, easy. Gentlemen defeated. Thanks for the Max Ether, buddy. See you later. Pokemon can cut down small bushes. Thanks. Pokemon fairy people across the water. Okay, cool, that's... That's cool, buddy. I guess that information would be super useful if you actually hadn't played a Pokemon game before. You know, like, that is really useful information that Pokemon can do that. That is an option in the game at all. Okay, time to smash this Growlithe into the ground. And then laugh, because it's amusing. Yeah, I need to make my type coverage a bit better in my party layout. And in the moves that I have. That, that's the... That's the bigger problem. I don't have a lot of move diversity. Because I don't even have a flying type move. Which is a really nice thing to have. When I Once I have the HM fly, though, that'll solve that problem. And more leveling on, the Pidgeot, on my Pidgeotto would also solve that problem. I never saw you at the party. Yeah, I just got here. And I'm beating up all of the people who have Pokemon. Because you're all valuable XP. And more importantly, money. Honestly, the money is more important. Okay, rude. Yeah, that's right. Get pounded. Anyway, our Mew's up to level 25, which is great. That'll that'll make our Mew quite usable in the gym. Like, we're we're well on level for being useful even at the gym leader. Which is good, because we're gonna have to give Hey Rude. Because uh, we're going to have to give all the uh, XP of the gym to whatever Diglett we catch. Take it easy. No. You challenged me to a fight. Oh, thanks for the rare candy. Hey, Adore, your strong Pokemon. I prefer strong and rare Pokemon. Yeah, I have a Mew. <laughs> this is literally... End of the line for, uh, what strong and rare looks like. This is it. Um, anyway, so Mew's high enough level, so I'm gonna let, uh, my Charmeleon get some XP. Have you gone to Safari Zone? Sure haven't. 
Hey, my dad, I think the Safari Zone is awesome. Good for you, kid. I'm happy for you, really. He looked really sick and pale. Sure, I'm sure he's fine. I hear many people get seasick. Oh, I completely forgot there was a rival battle here. Are you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. You really want to challenge me to whose Pokedex is better, buddy? I have a Mew. You've lost. <laughs> Charmeleon will win this, it just won't be, uh, very, uh, neat. Oh, well, rude. We're definitely switching Charmeleon out now that its accuracy's been lowered. Got to use Raticate. Um, we will switch our, uh, Butterfree in to deal with the Raticate. Get confused. Also, you say you, you you say you have 40 kinds of Pokemon, but you still only keep like less than six in your party, buddy. Come on. Like you still only keep four in your party. Um, I don't have a good answer to Psychic either. I think, think Never Free is actually my answer to Psychic just by being resistant to it. It. I forgot it could actually attempt to use teleport. Oh, that's right. Neverfree isn't actually resistant to psychic, it's neutral. Ow. Good job, Kadabra. You tried to teleport again. <laughs> nice. I was like, for a second I was like, what's my answer to water types? I'm like, I have a Pikachu. Dum dum. <laughs> That's my answer to water types. I have a Pikachu. Like... That shouldn't have even taken any thought. Rude war turtle. Anyway, um, I will say the rival is honestly kind of under leveled for this area. Feels like it's, it. Feels like the rival's Pokemon should all be like two to three levels higher, just across the board. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Heard there was a Cut Master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should just go see him. Sure. I feel hideous, seasick. I oh, rub the captain's back. Rub, 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 rub. Thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I can show you if I wasn't ill. I know you can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon. You can see it cut anytime. Yuck! Shouldn't have looked. Um. Anyway, uh, so that's everything there is to do on the SSN for right now. Right? Captain, this is a Swordmaster. You can teach us cut to Pokemon. Ahoy there, are you seasick? Oh, I'm just here to beat up your Pokemon. I don't know why I'm... It was very silly. Just mashing A. But whatever, it's fine. I was just careless. Sure, buddy. Sure. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to let our... Chip will be departing soon. Hey, matey. Let's do a little jig. Okay. Being paralyzed is very unfortunate for me, huh? Yeah, we're just gonna have to let, uh... 
our Pidgeotto right, take us the rest of the way. Growing decks is hard work. I feel ill. I stepped out to get some air. Good for you, buddy. Okay. Been everywhere at this point, I'm pretty sure. And we watch the SSN go away to its next location. Anyway. Let's go. Guild the Poke Center. Now we go catch us a Diglett. Which is thankfully the only Pokemon in Diglett Cave. Which is right here. Let's tug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. Can I? Okay, so I can't encounter Pokemon here. I have to go down a level. I immediately found a level 29 Doug Trio. Um. This is actually not good for me. Uh. Yeah. Um. I am you. Yeah, that's right. I too can dig! Yeah! Get juked. Mew has them jukes. Okay, here's a diglet, which is what I'm actually here to catch. And it's level 19, which is not bad at all. There we go. We caught a Diglett. This is about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots and sometimes appears above ground. Um. Let's see. this fit? Yeah, we have needs friend and then has friend. We don't have enough level. Talking about it. If it can't survive a pound from you then we don't catch it it's that simple that's that's the uh oh it leveled up um okay it survived a pound we'll catch it even if it was because of a growl anyway and we call this one as friend and we do the same misspelling Okay. Now we go get said diglets into our uh, into our team. Okay. Uh, I forgot to actually get the diglets into the team. Whoops. That's an important part of uh my current thing that I'm doing. Uh. Deposit Pokemon, uh, put Chomp in, then withdraw as friend, because that's the one that, uh, we will be turning into Doug Trio. I like the implication by calling it has friend that, so, who do I want to teach Cut to? Uh,. Who in my team? Okay, I don't like either of those choices. So... Uh... What moves does Charmeleon? Gen 1. Charmeleon, Charizard, that one. 
Like, what? How many good moves do I need to save uh, spots for? Is what I'm really asking. Uh, Gen one. Um. So we, I definitely want to keep Ember. Doing some kind of normal type move would be nice. Not necessary. Um. Rage might be okay, but I think I'll just grab Slash. So Slash will replace Scratch, and uh, it would be nice to know uh, Flamethrower, but I don't really care about knowing Fire Spin. So yeah, I've actually got plenty of room to just teach it Cut. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. My Charmander can just no-cut, like, that's fine. Uh, we will forget... Uh, Leer. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, that's right, in this gen you have to actually... Ugh. So much work. So, I need to actually go back to the Poke Center because I forgot to heal Diglett after uh, getting it. Which is a little bit of a problem for Diglett. Okay, oh, that's right. Throw back. Okay, now let's make our way through the gym. What do you have to say? Okay. I could break a code to get that, huh? This is no place for kids. Okay, buddy. Stop growling, you jerk. You took out Has Friend by just growling me to death. That's so rude. Just let my Charmeleon finish the fight. I'm... Annoyed though that uh, my Diglett didn't get to get XP because it just growled me to death. Like, that's just so rude. Lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. I'm gonna have to level it up, uh, like this. Yep, okay, they have a not electric move. Unfortunately, like, all of them have a not electric move. It's really unfortunate for me. Which said he had door switches inside something. Instead of double locks, here's a hint. When you open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. Okay. I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. Dude, with a sprite that old? Are you sure? You sure you're not- you sure it wasn't Lieutenant Surge's father or something? About to be paralyzed to death. Okay, cool. 
door won't open? The temperature's always less cautious. There's a switch under the trash. Turn it on. The electric locks were reset. Oh my gosh, it resets it which one it is entirely. Cool. Is it like a relative position? I do not remember how this puzzle works, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. unlucky like and not understanding something I see. Oh, my controller came unplugged. But yeah, I, I am just getting unlucky. got lucky this time. Okay, uh, my diglet is not high enough level for this, actually. Um. We're going to go get diglet some XP. So we're going to go up here first. Ow. Um, my Diglett just got schooled by a Pokemon that was four levels below it. Which is a little odd. I'm going to have to switch train anyway. I should just do it on the Diglett. They also can't poison me. Which is a nice benefit. I do not like getting poisoned. Being poisoned do be kind of sucking. Okay, so that's a level 20 Diglett. So we'll switch out. Diglett went up to level 18. That's a level 20 Diglett. Switch out. Okay. Uh. 
Good for you, Mew. I'm I'm happy for you leveling up like that. At one point, my Mew's gonna be high enough level to just solo surge before the Diglett's ready, and that's just unfortunate. Okay, our Diglett learned Dig is nice. The Diglett's reached the point where it can fight some Diglett's on its own. Not most of them yet. But it has made up to level 19, so there is that. on you. Um, oh, this one's level 50. Handle it. Level 17. Handle if it was full health, but it's not. Go. Swap in Butterfree. Diglett's up to level 20, which is... Pretty solid, but oh, this is a level 15 dig, but our Diglett can handle that. Importantly, our Diglett has a dig now. Whoops. Wasn't paying attention. That's not good, but it's okay. Because Dried is unaffected. If I really want to, uh just grind out a Pidgeot. This is where to do it, though. Because Pidge Pidgeotto uh, just gets to not care. for our Diglett to reach, like, level 22 or so? I don't know why I switched to... Uh... Yoda. Good sand attack. Now, we all just miss. Oh, wait. Mine hit. Oh, yeah. I'm better. Hello. How are you doing? now equal level with it, so I think I can probably win the fight at this point. I'll say it beforehand just in case, but I think I probably win. Uh, Pokemon. But hopefully this didn't relock the door. Okay, uh... 
What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. So you can elect to save me during the war. Is that my enemies into paralysis? The same as all due to you! Okay, buddy. Calm down. Like, chill out. And we're done here. Next! I will not change Pokémon. Oh man, yeah, you, you buff that Pikachu. Make it go first. How'd that work out for you? That help you? I don't think it did. I don't think it did help you. Yeah, it doesn't affect me, buddy. Good luck, though. And we're done here. Uh... I thought his Raichu was higher level. I thought it was 28. Take the Thunder Badge. Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly anytime. You're special kid, take this. Thanks. I'm glad you think I'm special. You may teach it to an electric Pokemon. Okay. Now that we have completed the gym, that will be all for today. Uh, we will do that on blue and yellow next time. So, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Follow if you'd like to see me continue this run. Uh, I mean, I'll be doing it either way. But follow if you'd like to be notified when I'm doing it, I guess. Whatever. I kind of... That kind of got away from me. But, point is, see you later.